Hello class. In this video, I will take you through the effects that changes in the price of a product have on short-term profits and long-term profits in a competitive market. We will need three graphs. The graph in the middle, graph B, depicts what is happening in the short run and the long run in the market. The two graphs on the side will reflect what will happen to an individual firm when changes in the market change the price level for this particular product. Let's begin our analysis. We have three equilibriums clearly labeled in our graph in the middle. We'll be, we will begin our analysis at point X. This is our first equilibrium. Now, let's pretend there is an increase in demand. So we will go from having D1, which is shown on this graph, to going to D2. Maybe this product got more popular. Either way, whatever happened, this is, this is going to have a positive effect on demand, which is going to shift it up, or more correctly, it's going to shift it to the right. This means that we are now at the intersection of D2 and S1. This point is labeled as Y on the graph. Notice that our initial price at point X was 14, but due to this change in demand, our price is now 18. Let's look at what effect this has on the individual firm that is already participating in this market. As we mentioned before, the initial price was 14. This firm is currently experiencing normal profits at point X. Notice that ATC, price and marginal cost all intersect at the same point. But now we will see what happens to profits for individual firms already in the market as the price of the product increases. As you can see, the price level is now higher. And this will definitely have an effect on the amount of output the individual firm will have. Let's go ahead and focus on point Y, which is my new profit optimizing point. At point Y, we will see our new profits are going to increase from having a profit of zero to now having higher profits. But before we get to that, let's identify our ATC. Notice that my ATC is lower than my price level. This new shaded area represents my profits. What effect will this have in the market? Well, these profits will be seen by other entrepreneurs, other risk takers, and something that we know about the business community is that profits attract investment. So what we can see that will happen in the market is that since more people, more entrepreneurs are going to be wanting to go into this market where firms are experiencing profits, the number of sellers will increase, which will take us to S2. We will have supply shift to the right. 
and this will give us a new equilibrium which is equilibrium Z. Now, what effect will this have on the long run for existing firms in the market? Remember that we are at a price of 18 because of the previous change in the math. Now, we can see from our graph B, as we go to equilibrium Z, our price level will shortly begin, begin to decrease. What this means for profits is that as prices keep dropping, well, we will eventually start seeing the profits that individual companies hold start to be reduced because now there's more competition in this already competitive market. So, what we have here is a long-term conclusion as it relates to profits in competitive markets. The main idea here is that in competitive markets, profits can only be seen in the short run. In the long run, all these profits disappear as more firms enter the market.